And here they come. And the raw fan pacing from the far outside. Odds on Platinum is trying to hustle forward. Run the world. Dale flashing early speed. Coco Jojo from the rail. In the center of the track is Genie Hanover coming forward. Following that one is Pass and Stowe. Then we go to Raining Jade at the inside Better Sisters. And the early trailer is Collusion Hanover. Odds on Platinum. The outside starter made it to the top. And she's going to show the way to the opening quarter from Run the World Dale second. That opening panel, 27 seconds flat. So Genie Hanover sat out around the first turn and now tries to work up towards the lead but slipping out from fourth comes Coco Jojo to follow so plenty of action up front. Genie Hanover looks to overtake odds on platinum. Coco Jojo's got to go three wide so with three eighths of the mile in the books the shuffle up front continues. Coco Jojo looking to make it to the lead from Genie Hanover is quickly relegated to second. Odds on platinum paces in third. Run the World Deo is fourth. Then we go to Pass and Stowe followed by Raining Jade. Better Sisters and at the back it's Collusion Hanover. The half was 56 seconds even. As they go to the far turn, Coco Jojo leads the charge. Genie Hanover tracks closely in second. Two lengths back to odds on Platinum in third. Here up on the outside, Raining Jade is first up. Then at the inside fifth, that's Run the World Dale. Back down along the cones, Pass and Stowe to the outside Better Sisters and the trailer's collusion Hanover. Nearing three quarters, Coco Jojo does lead it. Genie Hanover starting to edge out there from second. Three quarter time, 124 and two. So they swing for home. Coco Jojo leads it. Genie Genie Hanover looking to come back by. So Genie Hanover on the outside. Inside Coco Jojo. Odds on Platinum at the rail is third. On the far outside, Better Sisters is looking to rally. Raining Jade in the center of the track. As they come into the final 16th, Coco Jojo inside. Genie Hanover on the outside. And can Odds on Platinum split right through? Here comes Odds on Platinum looking to get up. Genie Hanover. Genie Hanover held on. Odds on Platinum finishes in second. Tight for third. Genie Hanover in the first Eternal Cam Nation. 152-2. Well, we said it when we were talking about the horses in post parade. This would be a heck of a spot to break your maiden, and it was for the six horse, Jeannie Hanover. At one point in time, I put a circle around the eight horse, uh, odds on platinum, Randy, but Jeannie Hanover got up there. Around the outside, inside Coco Jojo. Odds on platinum at the rail is third. On the far outside, Better Sisters is looking to rally. Raining Jade in the center of the track. As they come into the final 16th, Coco Jojo inside. Jeannie Hanover on the outside. And can odds on platinum split right through? Here comes odds on platinum. Platinum looking to get up. Genie Hanover. Genie Hanover held on. Odds on Platinum finishes in second. Tight for third. Genie Hanover in the first. Jeannie Hanover gets it done in the internal Cam Nation final. I'm here with winning driver Todd McCarthy. Todd, you qualified this filly twice over at the Meadowlands. Uh, what, what were your first thoughts about this filly when you did it in the mornings? I've always liked her. She's just been a little bit green, and uh, I think the way she raced there tonight sort of shows she's still still got a lot to learn. But um, she's got a lot of bottom to her, and uh, every time I asked her down the lane as much as she was looking around and uh, having a good look at everything, she, uh, she, she kicked in and, and fought for me. So I was, I was very pleased with her. What were your thoughts when you left off the gate? Obviously, there was a lot of action in that race. Did you think top of the lane that she'd have enough to get up there? Yeah, it was. Uh, she left pretty well. Um, you know, I kind of got myself into a spot there where I had to keep working forward, and uh, I was just worried I, I was going to have to do a little too much with her. But uh, no, once once she got there and she settled good, and uh, she got to tag a helmet there from the half and uh, worked out really good. Tony had a spot on, and like I said, every time I asked her, she went right on. Now I want to ask you, I want to fast forward to the William Wellwood Memorial, fi uh, the final. You've got obviously Marisil, you weren't here for the elimination. What's your thoughts on that, Colton? What's his preferred style of racing now that you've seen him go cut the engine? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, he's a really classy little colt, and uh, he's another one I've liked him all along there. So uh, it's it's going to be a good race, that race. But, uh, you know, he, he can do it either way, obviously, as he showed there last week. He's good off the pace, and he's good up front too. So uh, I think uh, no, having a universal horse like that in, in there is going to be pretty handy. Well, great start to your night, Todd. Congratulations. Fantastic. Thank you. Jeannie Hanover, Todd McCarthy, Tony Alanya, get it done in the Eternal Cam Nation.